Okay, we're back. And I'm guessing that this episode is basically going to be crew dialogue. There's a lot of it post Thessia. And most of it I don't like. Everybody's like, oh, shake it off, Shepard. It's in your fault, Shepard. And it's like, I don't have that sense of defeat from what we just did. I mean, yeah, we didn't get the the info on what the catalyst is. But it was so lame, and particularly when Shepard said, well, Thessy is lost and that's on me. It's like, no, what kind of asinine logic is that? It's like the Reapers were coming. And uh, they could have hit Thessia first. I mean, what about Earth? Is that on you too? Why don't you get more broken up about Earth? In fact, Shepard is overly broken up about Earth, if you ask me, because she didn't grow up on Earth. She grew up on Mindwar. Um, I don't know how much time she spent on Earth. I mean, she had to go to Rio de, Rio de Janeiro for her N7 training, obviously. But, uh, I mean, but I'm just not feeling it. And I thought maybe the way to make it work better was instead of fighting Kai Lame, the, the lamest boss in video game history, would have been something like that fight with Object Row uh, in the Arrival DLC where you have to survive so many waves and even then you get knocked out. But that might do it, even though I don't particularly like that thing. And these days, I mean, once I got the achievement, I just forget it. I don't care anymore. I'm just going to suicide so I can get on with the thing. But at least it might have set up the uh, the emotional impact to be what all of these characters want you to think it should be. But for me, it's not, I just am not feeling what they want Shepard to be feeling. So, I don't know. But we're going to put up with it. For the sake of this playthrough, we are going to listen to all of these guys trying to tell Shepard to have a stiff upper lip. Shepard, I heard about Thessia. We were so close, Anderson, so damn close to ending this war. You didn't think it'd be that easy, did you? I knew going in what the Reapers were capable of, but I also knew what I was capable of. And losing the Asari homeworld wasn't in the playbook. Shepard, you know how many times I got my ass handed to me over the years? Surviving the first contact war back in the day was a goddamn miracle. They said I was a hero. I just felt lucky to get out alive. So maybe Kai Lang did beat you. What of it? It could cost us the war. These guys in the Resistance, they know it's a losing proposition. They know the chances of seeing tomorrow are slim to none. But we all signed up anyway. Hell, I'm sitting in London right now staring at rubble. I was born here. And it's looking like I might die here too. So I say, point us at the Reapers, and we'll take our chances. I'm not willing to bank this whole war on a hope and a prayer. Well, truth is, we could use a bit of both right now. Shake this off, Shepard. I will. Anderson out. All right, it's shaken. I'm perfectly fine. Everybody wants to me to be not fine. Everybody wants me to be totally shaken up, but I'm not. Sorry. So Kai Lang did beat you. Yeah, well, I don't feel like... It's my fault at all. You got plot armor. What can I do about plot armor? Nothing I can do about that. What do we got new here? Oh, who knows? They got one thing after the other. It's like, whatever. I mean, whatever. And it's all pointless. Why should the score affect you at all at the end of the game? Because the Reapers just take it over. I mean, obviously, whatever these guys do, it's not defending the Citadel. Oh, this is the Aria stuff. Get 375 points for the Aria stuff. What did we get here? 
Oh, this is some more Aria stuff here. Oh, no, there's something else. What else? What else? What? 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 Oh, here's this smuggler thing I authorized. And Turians, what did we get from the Turians? What's what's going on here? Oh yeah, I lost a little thing because it didn't Corlac. I lost some points because of that. Oh, and I picked up uh, neurotoxin on Gellix while I was doing the Cerberus scientist mission and gave it to some dude. All right. What would have that that wouldn't have made a difference? How would that made a difference? Seriously, unless they'd given us the catalyst information. But is the crucible even done? I don't even know if the crucible is even done. If we don't finish that crucible soon, there won't be a galaxy left to save. So apparently the crucible's not done, so what does it matter whether we had the catalyst or yet? Or I suppose we could defend the Citadel more, but apparently all you have to do is wave your hand and you could take it over. And here comes the worst line in the entire series. I feel like strangling Joker after this thing. So Thessia, huh? I guess the Asari are wishing they had fewer dancers and more commandos right about now. Too soon? You're a damn good pilot, Joker, and I put up with a lot because of that. But we are in the middle of a war. You see this? Tip tree. Little colony out in the ass end of nowhere. My dad lives there. So does my sister. Reapers rolled in about two weeks ago. So you can assume that I'm generally aware there's a war on Commander. So why the jokes? Because E.D. says that according to your armor's metabolic scans, you're under more stress now than during the Skillian Blitz. Like, more than Torfan, where you put your whole damn squad through a meat grinder. And the last time I had a briefing with Anderson, he told me to take care of you. The guy leading the Resistance on Earth is worried about you. And I'm supposed to help. When I want a damn pep talk, I'll ask for one. Otherwise, you're my pilot, not my therapist. Are we clear? Yes, Commander. Shepard, I have a question about human behavior. This isn't the best time, Edie. Perhaps humor? A penguin is driving through the Arizona desert. I'm not in the mood. A lively rendition of La Marseillaise? No. Very well. I will maintain a respectful silence until you indicate otherwise. Yeah, that wasn't too cool either. Let's see what my girlfriend has to say. As long as she's not going to upbraid me about the kiss with Arya. <laughs> Commander, Cerberus has attacked a comp facility on Onteron. I've updated the galaxy map. You expect me to go back to Onteron? There's going to be some cow who tries to steal some stuff from me. Thanks for listening, Commander. You're worth listening to. And now I'm blushing. You do that fairly regularly. In any event, good luck. Oh, uh, this is from uh, Kai Lame. I saw somebody on the internet had retranslated this into what it really reads like. It's written in crayon, and it's basically nanny nanny nu nu. I'm cool, which is basically what it is. Now an entire planet is dying because you lack the strength to win. Bullshit. This is crazy. This is crazy. Is Shepard supposed to be responsible for Karshan, Palavin, 
The Elcor homeworld Dakuna as well. <sighs> the dialogue here is just over the top. It's it doesn't fit. I'm going to stop in here because Tally will have some dialogue before I go see Liara. Who's down with Javik right now having an argument. Uh, Tally, actually I'm fine, but I know you're going to assume I'm not. Shepard, this wasn't your fault. It's not about fault. I was supposed to stop them. You will. I don't know if I can do this, Tally. Earth, Palavin, Thessia. I'm risking everything to build the Crucible, and I'm not even sure what it does. Who am I to make that call? You're the one who was right all along. You fought when no one else would, when nobody else believed you. You can do this. I know you can. Well, that made a little bit more sense where she's like talking about how it's all about the crucible. Let's see where everybody's at. Let's see. Oh, Ash. We're going to hit up Ash. I'm sorry, Shepard. You all right? I'm fine. Liara? I don't know. Okay. I'll talk to her. Thanks. This isn't something she should deal with by herself. Same goes for you. Sure. I doubt Chakwas has anything to say, but let's check. No, she doesn't look like she's got anything to say. So... Udina finally went over the edge. I never really liked the man. Now I know why. Oh, well, I guess we could have got that dialogue a long time ago. It's nice to have Tally back. I've made sure we're well stocked with dextro-based antibiotics and antihistamines. Hello, Commander. Oh, the Garrus dialogue here is going to be interesting. Not the buck up shepherd bit but um <laughs> I think this is where shepherd can basically uh, tell him she shot Morden Any word from your family? They made it off Palavin. It was tight, but they're okay. We'll take every scrap of good news we can get. I wish I had more, though. Why? I just had to make a tough call with Primarch. He said our fleets are being decimated, so I advised him to cease all offensive operations against the Reapers. A full retreat? The only way to save Palavin now is to hold our ships back for the Crucible. But if I'm wrong, then a lot of other Turian families won't be as lucky as mine. If it means anything, I would have given the Primarch the same advice. Yeah, there's that ruthless calculus again. <sighs> Speaking of which, I hear the Salarians are helping us out. How did you manage that? I made sure the Genophage cure wouldn't work. It was the price for Salarian cooperation. <sighs> A few years ago, I would have said you paid too much. But now, if there was a deal that could save Palavin, I wouldn't be so certain. Did Morden just go along with it? Damn war. Not something you can ever get used to, seeing a world go down like that. Thousands of years of civilization on fire. But it wasn't your fault. Tessia was already gone by the time we got there. And maybe the elusive man did win one, but so what? I've lost a few fights in my time, and I'm still here. It's because I always made sure that a battle doesn't make a war, Shepard. We're still in this. I wonder what happened to his dialogue there. Part of it got cut off. 
Have you checked on Leora? She must be devastated. That's not something you ever forget. What about you, Garrus? You had to go through the same thing, Palavin. Shepard, this is when you take all your anger and frustration, bottle it up, then use it to rearrange every molecule in Kai Lang's body. You'll get your chance. Maybe later. All right, let's go deal with Liara and, and Javik. If you go into Liara's room right now, Glyph will tell you he's down. She's downstairs. Can't be true. <coughs> you saw it with your own eyes. The goddess Athame was Prothean. You wanted to know more about your history, Asari. Now you do. I have a name. It's Liara to Sony, and I'd appreciate you using it from now on. No, you're not worth it. There's been enough death today. Don't think for a second that Liara couldn't have finished that. As could I. She just lost her home. I'd appreciate you not making it worse, Javik. As you wish, Commander. But this is no time to worry about hurt feelings. We recover from this defeat, or we die. I'm told you spoke with a VI of one of my people. It seems another Prothean still fights the Reapers. If there is to be victory in this war, it will be for all cycles. The living will avenge the dead. And do not concern yourself with Thessia's fate, Commander. The loss of a planet is insignificant next to the loss of the galaxy. I suffered many defeats in the last war, Commander. Let this loss be the fuel that powers your rage. Your Joker pilot insists I call myself Prothe the Prothean. I insisted he allow me to throw him out the airlock. I am with my own thoughts. <laughs> I am with my own thoughts. <laughs> I don't think my engineers have anything. No. If I'm lucky, the Citadel Stock Exchange drops 2,000 extra points. And if you're unlucky? I don't know. I've never really been unlucky. Commander. I don't know if these guys have anything to say, but we'll check. Doesn't hurt to go over the weapon roster one more time. Oh, well, I'm gonna bring James along on a few missions here. Hey, for what it's worth, I know how it feels to lose like that. I know that doesn't make it easier, but you're just human like the rest of us. If you're trying to make me feel better, it's not working, Lieutenant. Hey, everyone on this ship knows you did all you could. You need to cut yourself some slack. Whatever it takes to get that data back from Cerberus, we're behind you. Whatever it takes to end this. Noted. Sure would have liked to visit Thessia before the war. Imagine a whole world of those blue beauties. One of the wonders of the galaxy, if you ask me. And not a single fat Asari in the entire galaxy. It's amazing. You want to hit Cerberus where it hurts? I'm with you.
She went straight to her cabin. She's not answering her calm. How bad? I've never seen Liara like this. Not even after Noveria. Damn. Can you talk to her? You've known her as long as any of us. And with Palavan... I'm just another damn reminder of how many people are dying. You should talk to her. I just regained my homeworld. She just lost hers. Well, I don't have any magic words. She needs time. Maybe call her later. She went straight to I'll go cabin. talk to Liara. Thanks, Shepard. I've studied Protheans my entire life. If I'd been shown the beacon on Thessia earlier... You would have needed Shepard's cipher to comprehend it. I still could have learned from it. Instead, my mother hid the galaxy's most important archaeological find from me. It must have been such a joke to her when I became a Prothean researcher. The penalties for withholding Prothean technology are among the harshest in Council space. Your mother's motives may have been simply to shield you. Perhaps. Thank you, Edie. I hadn't considered that. How did this happen, Shepard? Did I just assume the Asari would be ready? That the Council would protect them? Or was I so busy with the Catalyst that I ignored my own people? Liara, you had nothing to do with the attack on Thessia. Nothing to do with it? I told those people on Thessia we'd save them. How many Asari died because I demanded their help? None. Shepard, that isn't true. You've been warning your people for four years, Liara. There's not a damn thing you should feel guilty about. If we move fast enough, they'll have a chance to survive this, to start again. We lost Thessia, but we haven't lost the Asari yet. Helping the refugees. That's something I can do. It's something I owe them. I knew you'd think of something. I still need some time, Shepard. But thank you. Now we're totally reversed places. Now Liara's, oh, it's all my fault. And Shepard points to the truth. No, it's not your damn fault. So why should Shepard ever admit that it was her fault? Error. Oh, this is from Dr. Bryn Cole to some dude. So she's still working on the crucible there. A pleasure to see you. All right. Um. Hopefully she's doing better now. Thanks for talking to her. Neither of us knew what to say. There's not much we can say. But being there helps. I think that's it. Did Joker mention the name of his sister on Tip Tree? I can't remember if he mentioned. Maybe it's only if you go the Paragon route instead of the renegade route but anyway he mentions that his sister's name is Hillary which is the name of that farm girl that that Asari killed that Asari we meet in the hospital talking about her trauma alright I want to I think there's some planet scanning now available not that I care about war assets I'm perfectly fine on war assets but what I am interested in is, I think there's some new upgrades available. Oh, look, Ilium's under attack now. Oh, this is new. So let's go here. And this is Omega here, but we can't go there. Even though we just liberated the place, still can't go there. 
And this is where the Shadow Broker's base is. Or was. Since Lehara crashed it into a Cerberus cruiser. What's this thing? And that's where we picked up Grunt. Isn't it? I think. No, no, no. This is where we picked up Jack. Her prison ship was orbiting that place. Signal confirmed. More money. This would be useful if I was doing a new game plus, but I think I've pretty much got everything I want. Hmm. I found something. And this is where that crashed freighter was that we just barely escaped, it fell off the cliff. over there. Signal confirmed. So there's a gas can out here somewhere. Evasion successful. Oh, there it is. Excuse me. Coming through. Reapers eluded. than light jump successful. And this is where those three heavy mechs are. I don't even know that I did that mission in this uh, playthrough. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe it's out here. No. So where is the damn thing? I found something. Oh. Close is that Reaper. Can we get in there? Yep, we can get in there. Evasion successful. That's new. But I don't think there's actually anything there except for the mission. And this is where Pragya is. And 
most importantly, an upgrade. There's Praga right there. Signal confirmed. Okay, how many planets? Two? Two? Two systems, I mean? Alright, there's two star systems out there. I found something. Where's the gas can? Come on, where is it? Oh, there it is. Way over there. Go out this way. Reapers eluded. Faster than light jump successful. So there's six things here all together. So there, there's, confirmed. there is a gas can. And there's a gas can over here as well. Somewhere. Not sure where. Hmm. Okay, we're done. I think that's all the scanning we have to do there's nothing there's nothing here <coughs> except for firebase dagger and shifty cow and there's sanctuary got everything else okay looks looking good looking good All right, well, this will be then our next. Mission. Head on out to the Asari colony. That's what we're going to do in the next episode as we land on this sorry colony and check out why all these commandos are disappearing. What have we got left in our journal? Um, mostly Leviathan stuff is, is left to do and we got to throw a party. So, we're got to all that Leviathan stuff plus this monastery. So, we will pick those up in the next few episodes. Until then, take it easy. <laughs>